Ladies and gentlemen, we have a huge interview with Ian Hazikostas and Morgan Day. You can find the link to this in the description below as there is a lot of interesting information that you can read about over here. But in today's video, I'm just going to focus on two questions that are directly related to healing and how it's uh, supposedly going to change in the war within. But from what I've read, I don't think anything is going to change. I think healing is going to feel exactly the same way as it did in season 3 and 4 of Dragonflight, uh, which is basically not in a great spot. So uh, the first question is basically directly related to the problem of healing and how it feels and what are they going to make uh, in the war within to change it. And uh, the very first thing that triggers me is the first sentence. Healing continues to be a major topic and the combat team and the encounter team, those are the two sides of the coin here. Now, the fact that you have two sides of the coin and everybody's pulling the rope towards them, it's not going to end you in a very good uh, space. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the problems uh, that follow up, but basically I think those two teams or wh whatever many teams are working on this, they need to be working together, there needs to be only one side of the coin, they need to be coordinated, and there needs to be some uh, limitations, some guidelines that they need to follow uh, in order to first make the classes uh, a little bit more equal in terms of defensives, etc. And then uh, design them in a way that everything feels uh, polished and complete. Now, the first thing that I'm going to mention is that Blizzard basically acknowledges what the problem is. First, uh, their solution is basically to rebalance the overall size of health pools and the incoming damage that the players are taking so that uh, players basically take uh, more healing spells to refill and uh, empty, uh, emptying the bars. Now, this is great in theory, but then they are saying the only way to threaten players uh, is by damaging them even faster than the rate that we are healing and creating situations where healers have to react or players have to preemptively use defensive cooldowns in order to survive. Their solution is that's something that we're keeping close eye on um, during the beta. All right. Uh, they go even further to say that healers should feel powerful uh, in their ability to save and correct mistakes made by the group, but also that they're not spinning too many plates at a given time and they're making a single mistake or taking a breath for a single second makes everything collapse. That's a space that we're continuing to navigate. That's the solution. Testing continues, but healing stats and breakdowns are something that the team is looking at every day. So there's absolutely nothing concrete in terms of solution. Uh, they're mentioning something in the form that uh, we're looking into the leech stat. Yeah, leech is going to fix everything, guys, uh, for sure. That's the main problem. But basically what they're saying is that they're looking into the numbers, they're trying to change them, and they're hoping that they're going to work and they're going to arrive at a point where everything feels nice to play with. However, I think that they're looking into the wrong places. You can rebalance number all you want, but I think the fundamental problems comes from the design and the damage profile of dungeons. If you want players to be taking several spells to fill somebody's health bar up to full, then if there's damage coming up that is hitting that health bar for 90% of its value every few seconds, then this is simply not going to work. One of the main things that they need to be looking at is the design of the incoming damage because if it's very spiky and bursty, then the healing is just going to be the same no matter how you balance the numbers because there are two situations that could happen. When the damage happens, the healer is not powerful enough, so they either need to buff it, which is going to bring us to the current situations, or players simply need to use defensives, which is the next topic that we're going to be talking about, which kind of makes the healers redundant. Uh, this is basically the next question. What about the defensive creep and people uh, able to do dungeons basically without healers? And they have a kind of valid point here saying that if you're doing something solo out in the world, you need those defenses in order to survive because you don't have a healer there. All right, fair enough. But raid and dungeons are quite different environment and having too many defenses there kind of makes the healers obsolete and uh, we've seen that in many cases and one solution they can do is there are so many skills in game that work differently in raid in dungeons in pvp right so they could 
potentially do something like that with the defensives as well. If you're solo out in the world, your defensives could be strong, but they could be nerfed in dungeons so that the healing power of the healers actually matters. Right now, uh, in that, those situations where I said damage is coming and people uh, pop defensives, you know, at this point you don't have to heal them. And if they don't pop them, it's unhealable and they simply die. And I know many people feel like that because you guys do comments on those videos. Uh, I see similar, similar comments on the other videos and some of the other content creators that I follow. And people are just saying, I feel like it doesn't matter if I'm there, right? If people pop their defensives, they'll survive. If not, you know, I'm pressing my buttons, but most of the time I'm doing damage. And then when the damage comes, you know, uh, we see, we've seen that in the MDI as well. If people play correctly, they have some uh, off-spec abilities they can use to heal. They just survive it. And the problem here is that uh, they're basically addressing this, but there's no solution to it. Uh, one of the things they said is... Uh, right now, I don't think we're not in a position that we're going to go through and rip out a whole bunch of abilities in the war in the coming weeks. But I think we're looking at what um, an ongoing disarmament is going to look like. So they're probably going to do that. They're probably going to trim the trees, but uh, it's not happening in the war within. So yeah, that's kind of the other thing that kind of triggers me. Everything is left for the next expansion, right? So, but we're playing the game right now. This is the expansion that we're playing. This is the game that we're playing, the season we're playing. So um, they could have used season four to test some of the new things, to make something different, like make a change, try something. But we just got recycled content that's exactly the same that we've played it before. And as far as I can tell, nobody, nobody's playing that season. Uh, while this could have been the perfect uh, ground to do some uh, experimentation. Anyway... As they said, they're looking into it, but we're not getting any changes. So that means that season one of The War Within is going to feel exactly the same way. No matter how they balance the numbers, we're going to end up in the exact same situation. Unless they look into some more of the fundamentals of how uh, Mythic Plus and Raid works and the damage profile there. So uh, they change that as well. Another thing that they could change though, especially in uh, Mythic Plus is uh, the tanks, because right now tanks are way too powerful. Uh, I actually haven't healed a tank in all of the Dragonflight seasons because they're just that strong. They can heal themselves, they're self-sustained, and uh, basically they can solo the dungeon, right? You can separate the Mythic Plus into tanks and the rest of the group, and the tank doesn't really need the rest of the group. The only reason they bring the rest of the group is because if they go solo, they can solo everything, but they're not going to hit the timer. So they need the rest of us idiots to be there, you know, just so we can uh, kind of like outweigh the amount of times we're going to do to die with the amount of damage that we do so we can time the dungeon at the end. But uh, at the end, if you look into the healing meters, the tank is out healing the healers. And okay, you can say you're a bad healer. Okay, I'll take that. But if we finish the dungeon, even if I'm bad healer, I don't think the tank should be out healing even the bad healers. So that is something that you can look at uh, if, let's say, the damage is a little bit less bursty, but then the healers actually need to spare some spells and some cooldowns to heal the tank, and the tank is not that self-sustainable, that could be uh, another area where some of the healing could go and make the healer's life a little bit more interesting. Of course, there needs to be a lot of tuning connected to that, because uh, right now, if the tank is not self-healing, with the damage that the mobs are doing to them, they're just simply going to die, right? The, the, this is not something that's healable, but those numbers could be adjusted. The mobs could be doing a little bit less damage to the tank. They could have a little bit less uh, self-sustainability and healing, and then the healers could be used to actually keep the tanks alive, uh, which is something that doesn't happen at all right now. So yeah, uh, this is how I feel. This is why I think nothing is going to change. But do let me know what do you guys think about this in the comments below. Do you have any suggestions of how healing could actually be fixed? Uh, because right now it just doesn't feel great. And I, I don't think it's going to be any different in the war within. As I said, I've been in the beta and uh, the damage there, the damage profiles are as sp spiky and as bursty uh, as they're in Dragonflight. Uh, and if nothing else changes, we're going to have exactly the same uh, experience. Anyways, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Now get out of here.